The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of my pistol playbook. This is something that, if you've been following this channel, I've been running the pistol offense now for a couple of weeks, and I still find this is one of the best and most fun offenses to use, but definitely one of the best running offenses to use in the game. So I'm going to break down this formation right here, the pistol full house. Uh, this formation here, along with um, some other formations here, I'll show you real quick. The pistol bunch TE uh, and the, I think the weak Weak eye is probably the last one. The weak, uh, the weak eye, the weak eye here. The pistol weak eye. I put all three of these out already in different formats. Some gameplay, some practice mode. So if you want to get caught up on this particular offense that I'm running, I'll put links in the description for these offenses for the pistol weak eye and for. I also have a breakdown of the pistol strong or pistol strong slot somewhere uh, from the Ravens playbook, but I don't, I'm not going to go through and find that because that's kind of old. But without a doubt, um, th these are the formations that made me switch over to this offense. The pistol bunch te especially uh which you know i typically find uh that i use i used to use more out of the uh, the saints playbook i found that that offense along with um the weak eye offense and now this offense i'm going to show you today are some of the better offenses to run in the game especially when it comes to run plays but the formation i'm going to go over today is the pistol full house um if you look at the personnel that you have i mean you get a tight end or a fullback here i typically go with my fastest guy which is going to be oj howard in this situation then you have uh multiple running backs you have two running backs to the you know one on kind of like the fullback side one on the uh the running back side but if you are going to throw the ball or if you want more speed and your fastest guy is a receiver all you have to do is hit the right stick where the packages are and you actually get wide receiver in the backfield which i think is pretty cool so if i go to my death chart and i go to the uh, receivers real quick um, say I want, you know, Scotty Miller, who's my fastest guy there. All I have to do is whoever is my third receiver will be, um, and obviously I think Antonio Brown would be better, but whoever my third receiver is will be the, um, the running back in the backfield. So that's something to think about if you run a team like the Kansas City Chiefs or if you run a team that has, you know, say you're playing mutt and you have a really fast receiver. When it comes to some of these passing plays, it definitely helps to put wide receiver backfield. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I'm going to run wide receiver backfield here um i mean to be honest with you i'm not gonna do that because i'm saving that for a future video if you guys want to see a future video where i run this offense with tyree kill in the backfield 99 speed tyree kill in the backfield do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because i definitely plan on doing that other than that like i said we're just going to mostly focus on the run plays today anyway uh and i'll probably um you know i'll have some passing plays on my patreon on my join now community tab so if you guys want to see that links in the description below or hit the join button um other than that the running plays the the four running plays that i typically have and when I run this offense I have pretty much all run plays in the audibles sometimes I have a few passing plays but mostly run plays uh, the first audible that I put in is the triple option switch this play here though is kind of falling out of favor for me I'm kind of I'm leaning more towards having a passing play in that spot but for this video I'll keep it because I do intend to go over it. The second play is the halfback slam, which is already in there. Uh, the counter lead, the last two plays are the most important. The counter lead, probably the most explosive run play in this formation, if not one of the most explosive run plays in the game. And then the zone read, uh, which is going to be kind of in the same vein. Uh, th these are two of the most explosive plays. So those are my four options right there. That's typically how I run my offense. The last play, I'll just pick the halfback off tackle. And then as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. If you guys are trying to get your Mutt team up, uh, you know, check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, as far as these reads go, because that's really where this offense comes into play. The, the two biggest plays that I'm trying to go for are pretty much always going to be the counter lead or the counter lead and the zone read. But these two plays, I don't really think this play really lends to either. I would say on a, a play like this, because there's so much packed in the box on the left side, I would probably go with the triple option. Now this play here, you can either hold the A button and hand it off to the running back uh, behind you, or you can hold it. This is typically what I do. I think I probably want a more mobile quarterback than Tom Brady too, because you can run with the quarterback, but typically I don't very often. But the the, the read that I'm definitely going to be reading, I'm reading the defensive end, the outside linebacker, and I'm going to pretty much try to make that pitch just about every time. Now you get some great pitch animations in this game, as you can see right there with the first play, we're just ripping off close to a 25 to 30 yard run. Going to the 
replay real quick just to show you that pitch animation. I mean, this play from this point of view looks pretty dead to rights. But like I said, based off of the fact that the quarterback typically will get this pitch out even when he's tackled, that's one of the things that makes this type of play so broken is you can essentially become your own blocker because I'm taking out two defenders with the quarterback here just by holding the ball long enough that the defensive players react. So keep that in mind. I mean, you, sometimes you won't get that animation, but you typically do. You Typically, if you watch my gameplays, I get this. I get the animation where the ball comes out pretty much every time. So hold the ball to the last opportunity so you can basically take up as much defense as possible. So here's another good opportunity to triple option switch. I could run this to either side uh, and I could flip it since the formation's even. I could flip it and there's no, um, you know, there's not going to be, the play's not going to flip and stuff like that. That's one of the things I really like about this formation. Uh, on this play, like I said, the switch, definitely a good option. You can see right there, don't really have the athleticism with Tom Brady, but um, that's something you definitely want. You definitely want like a Lamar Jackson, somebody with more speed to run this offense than Tom Brady. So that's just one of the plays. Now in a play like this, um, this slam, when I see that gap right in front of me, the slam, I mean, that's probably the least explosive play. I think if I go back to the uh, the menu screen, though, I mean, I think my average on the, on the slam is still pretty high. Um, I don't typically do this, but just to show you guys, like I said, the, the averages on these plays, which I didn't really go over. I averaged 7 yards of carry on the slam. Um, I averaged 13.4 on the counter lead. Uh, the triple option, like I said, it's kind of fallen out of favor for me a little bit. I'm only averaging 5.8. And then the zone read, I'm averaging 9.4. So that's just to give you an idea of how explosive these plays are when it comes to some of the uh, what they're capable. And then the off tackle, like I said, I don't run that as much. I only ran it 12 times, but I'm averaging 6.4. I mean, if you look at some of these plays, like I've run the zone read 166 times and I'm averaging almost 10 yards of carry. I've run the counter lead 111 times and I'm averaging 13 and a half. I mean, that's ridiculous. So just to give you guys an idea of what type of gains you can get when you run these plays. So back to these uh, plays. Now, here's a perfect opportunity for the counter lead. Whenever you see... The defensive end like he is there out wide like that that's a perfect opportunity for a counter lead uh, these plays counter leads because they develop a little bit on the slow side can get blown up in the backfield but it's kind of rare uh, but this is the look you want you want that wide spacing defensive side of the line uh, that outside linebacker out wide the hope is that he takes himself out of the play uh, and that's pretty much exactly what he does on that first carry uh, and we get close to 10 so that's pretty much all you're really going to do when it comes to counter plays, I'll go to the replay one more time. Counter plays, you really are just reading this defensive end. If he crashes in like he does here, um, I mean, a lot of times you want to go outside, but based off the fact that he's so wide, it makes the read nice and simple right up the hole. But you really want to read him. Sometimes he'll crash in, sometimes he'll hesitate and stop. If he hesitates and stops, you typically want to go around him outside. So we're going to run the counter lead one more time. Like I said, this isn't necessarily the best look, but I still feel like there's opportunity. You can see how even with a tight set like that, it still works out. So whenever you have a packed box look like this, it's always best just to take it outside. There's a couple of different runs you can run. The default run here, you can see we have a pretty successful run. Or you could just go with the zone read, which is the exact same thing. You just basically just hold the A button. Uh, and then you can see you can have, um, you know, very similar success. So anytime that, that you have a tightly packed box, and you'll have that quite a bit based off of the fact that your opponent, um, you know, a lot of people will stop the run. They just pinch the defensive line. They think it's going to take care of it. That's when you're going to want to switch over to these plays. These plays will also have a lot of success uh, against like cover threes and cover fours off coverages, which are very popular right now based off of the new patch. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more plays out of this, pass plays, maybe a full scheme breakdown of this particular offense, um, you know, I'm going to have it on my on my Patreon and on my Join Now Community tab now. But if you guys want to see them on YouTube, a full breakdown on YouTube, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.